welcome back guys to another video and it seems that you guys really really liked uh, the android on raspberry pi the android nougat on raspberry pi so to make android 7 more accessible i am showing you android 7 on a normal pc so android x86 projects uh, have released the source code it's in a very early development stage right now so uh, i wouldn't be using it as my daily driver or uh, as much even installing it on a PC uh, so this is mostly life boot stuff and what you get is a basic AOSP Android build so let's go ahead into the settings of course and the first thing we need to do is uh, get that uh, logo game on so that's the Android and logo and of course we have our Easter egg now the Easter egg uh, won't really work here as I'll show you uh, on the uh, notification uh, quick notification and quick settings what you need to do is uh, actually to get the Android Easter egg working is to drag and uh, get this on the main notification or on the main quick settings menu but since drag isn't working due to uh, because we are not as much touching uh, the screen uh, we are using the click uh, of a mouse so that wouldn't work so if you have a touch screen device that would really work another awesome thing uh, that android 7 brings with the uh, android x86 nougat brings is a uh, multi window now on a phone or a smaller screen device is this much not uh, this is not much uh, of a difference or uh, advantage but on uh, such a big screen uh, the screen resolution, uh, the screen uh, est real estate is actually much well utilized uh, when multiple tabs or multiple windows are open at the same time. So that, so to show that, uh, of course, I will uh, go ahead and open uh, multiple things. Uh, let's get a web browser. So I have Google Chrome and a web browser open. Now what I need to do is switch over to uh, a Google Chrome and press long press the um, task button and then select the second screen that i want so i'll select the google uh, browser uh, open up a website and then i am able to drag across without much of an issue Uh, and then uh, as you can see the app apps do take uh, a little bit of time uh, to resize now that may be because I'm running it on a very slow hardware uh, I'm running it on a device uh, on an at Intel Atom device uh, with just one gigabyte of RAM so uh, as you guys can see it actually performs very well for uh, what the hardware has to provide uh, now moreover what we can do is go on to the home menu uh, click the home button and now we have an option to uh, select any other uh, side task so this is one of my favorites um, system monitor is something that I most I sometimes want uh, turned on while I'm doing something just to uh, take a readout, readout of the CPU usage and uh, many a times it doesn't happen okay so um, I have installed Geekbench and I will be running side by side with system monitor now this is one of the things I uh, really wished I had at the time I was uh, debugging the Raspberry Pi issue where the clock speed wouldn't reach uh, the proper clock speed or, or only one CPU was being uh, or only one core was being used instead of all the four so this is what I really want to test right now and split screen is actually a pretty good uh, way to do it so uh, I have the split screen running on the system monitor and this is one of the examples why a split screen is really useful so nothing to do especially with Android x86 Nougat so Android x86 Nougat is exactly the kind of Android you'll get anywhere else but it's compatible to run on any regular PC now there are bugs uh, for me it didn't really uh, boot on a core to duo machine uh, my UEFI based machines booted it really well 
so there are bugs here and there it's not very stable it might crash might not and all of that sort of stuff so uh, we can run the benchmark and see the effects of the benchmark right here so um, thank you so much for watching guys this was Android x86 nougat for your PC and this is running directly on a PC right like any other Android x86 build and this is actually a pretty uh, early build so I wouldn't again recommend using it on a stable platform where you want stability uh, this is mostly for testing the links would be in the description and thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.